Good afternoon. I'm Dave Gustin, the director of the School for the Future of Innovation Society, and I'd really like to welcome you to the school's 2020 Charter Awards and semi-annual research jamboree. I want to tell you a little bit about uh, what's going to happen here today and what the Charter Awards are all about. Um, so as many of you probably know, Arizona State University has a charter. It's meant to be a durable expression of the university's commitment and values. And it developed, ASU developed a new model for the American Research University that created an institution committed to excellence and access and impact, uh, the new American University. ASU's charter adopted in 2014 is the blueprint of that transformation, and it reads as follows. ASU is a comprehensive public research university measured not by whom it excludes, but by whom it includes and how they succeed. Advancing research and discovery of public value and assuming fundamental responsibility for the economic, social, cultural, and overall health of the community as it serves. One could imagine in the past uh, 10 months or so that responsibility uh, has changed in very many dimensions as the university and the rest of the community has responded to the COVID crisis. Um, but that fundamental responsibility uh, as part of what ASU is remains. And we like to think that SFIS embodies that responsibility in a great number of dimensions, particularly including the creation of these charter awards that uh, go back in the school till the fall of uh, 2017 where um, we have now given uh, uh, 30 charter awards. There'll be 18 uh, recipients today, and the charter awards are lodged to those values expressed in the Charter of Excellence, Access, and Impact. And we give uh, awards to students in each of our degree programs by those uh, values. The support for these awards comes directly from philanthropy that the school is engaged in. What that means is through annual giving, through special donations and through Sun Devil Giving Day, uh, the money that the school uh, receives through that philanthropy uh, has been dedicated uh, significantly, almost exclusively in many circumstances to uh, student facing programs, including the charter awards. Um, in addition to the charter awards, that philanthropy has also supported a student emergency fund uh, that has been particularly useful in the midst of the COVID crisis. Uh, it has launched study abroad scholarships for SIS, SFIS uh, study abroad programs and other student facing activities. Um, so I really wanna thank uh, all the people both uh, here on this, uh, on this Zoom meeting today, as well as our other donors uh, appropriate during uh, this past week or two where lots of places have been acknowledging uh, giving and, and uh, receiving thanks that um, thank you that you have uh, been generous enough with, um, with your investments to support these kinds of activities. And that thanks is not just to, for example, the members of the director's circle for the school, but because a lot of this does come out of Sun Devil Giving Day, uh, students, faculty, staff, all of you are supporting this recognition of the students today. So thank you, uh, thank you, and thank you. Uh, the tradition here in the Charter Awards uh, ceremony is um, rather informal uh, and I do not play host for the whole thing. That would be intolerable even if we were in person, uh, but we have a sort of handoff chain to the respective program heads and faculty leaders who are going to uh, make the specific award presentations. So enough of me and I will turn it on to Mary Jane Parmentier who will be presenting the convocation speaker and most outstanding student awards. Thanks, Dave. And I apologize in advance if there's background noise. The town of Gilbert has chosen this exact moment to resurface the road in front of my house. So there's heavy equipment and lots of yelling, but hopefully I can rise over that. 
it's always hard to pick one outstanding graduate um, at the graduate and undergraduate level, as we have many. Um, but it's my pleasure to announce um, who's been chosen for this fall of 2020. The most outstanding graduate student will be Rachel Michelle Piercy. Uh, Rachel, uh, Michelle, as she goes by, has held a full-time leadership position at the firm Comonics while pursuing her MS in Global Technology and Development online. While many of our students work full-time, Michelle has had the challenge of working in the field in the Middle East, in Tunisia, and most recently in Northern Iraq, where she oversaw the company's operations there in reconstruction while maintaining a 4.0 GPA. Michelle's also been instrumental in the growing relationship between Comonics and ASU and has provided feedback on curricular development for Comonics employees. She recently completed and submitted her applied project and it's a guide for optimizing post-conflict social infrastructure interventions, a highly relevant and impactful work that can be applied to post-conflict reconstruction and development. It's extremely well-written and has a high potential potential of influencing post-conflict development practitioners. Congratulations, Michelle. And then the most outstanding undergraduate student goes to Madison Arnold. The SFIS undergraduate committee unanimously nominated Maddie for this honor. Graduating with a 3.92 GPA, a double major in innovation in society and journalism, Maddie is also a Barrett Honors graduate, a Next Generation Service Corps leader, and was the Lincoln Center for Applied Ethics undergraduate scholar for a year and participated in a community-based research project in Puerto Rico one summer. As well, she participated in the SURF program, program for two years, uh, becoming the intellectual leader of the student research team where she applied a responsible innovation framework to technology in developing countries in education in particular that other students have actually used in their analysis. She culminated this work in her Barrett Honors thesis by applying the framework to Solar Spell in Samoa, uh, which she also raised money for to travel with the team in 2018 and do field work. Um, Maddie, throughout her undergraduate studies, was constantly looking for ways to gain professional experience, improve her own work, but also to engage with others, support others, and enrich ASU. Congratulations, Maddie. And now I will turn it over to Jamie Wetmore, Director for Programs, who will announce undergraduate charter awards. Thank you very much, Mary Jane. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm here as Director of uh, academic programs, but also um, the undergraduate program, which uh, Mary Jane Parmentier is very, very uh, um, nice enough to join me as co-chair of that program. But we thought Mary Jane maybe shouldn't present the first nine awards. So I'm going to sneak in here and uh, give a few. Um, so for our undergraduate program, the first award I would like to announce is our Charter Award for Excellence, which goes to Maya Srikant. Um, Maya has been dedicated to the undergrad program ever since she first decided to do a concurrent degree with us, and it's been great having her. I mean, I could go through the full list here. I'll give you at least a little snapshot of the amazing things that she has done as a student and engaged with us. So she started off in our undergrad research program. Um, she now represents our school at the Global Futures College Council. Um, she created an, her own grad school panel for FIS majors to connect with our graduate students to answer questions and learn how this works. Um, she helped, she was the director for speakers at the TEDx ASU program. I think that was last year. I think that's when that was. Um, she also uh, has time to write science articles and publish them in a variety of different publications. Uh, oh, and yeah, and she takes classes too. She's a student as well. And I've been lucky enough to have her in class as well as many of us. And we know that um, it is great having somebody like Maya in the room because the conversation always moves forward in a constructive and respectful way. So congratulations, Maya, and thank you for all you have done for our school over the last couple of years now. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the, the recognition. Um, I'm so grateful to have found a home in the FIS community. and I'm really looking forward to my last semester here. So thank you, thank you again. Thanks, Maya. Now, usually with the undergrad program, we do a different, we do all three different categories, uh, but we've mixed it up a little this time. So we've, we've just awarded the excellence award, uh, but we're gonna give two impact awards now. Um, and these two impact awards are to Jason George and John Rudebeck. Um, 
And the, uh, the thing that they have helped us out with so much and had such an important impact in our school is they've been a key part of our undergraduate curriculum student advisory group. Now, for those of you that don't know, we have just finished year four of our undergrad program and we are gearing up to launch our online program in the fall. And so it's about time that we sort of reflect on where we are, what we've done, what's worked, what hasn't worked so well. And it's been invaluable to get um, input from students. And Jason and George have both played in a very, very important role in that process to make sure that the uh, voice of the students are heard um, so that we can get our program in gear and really giving students what they need and want. So Jason and George, thank you so much. Hey, thank you very much. Um... No, I'm really, really happy for just to, you know, be recognized for this, but I'm happy that I'm able to, you know, kind of put in some extra work and, and really give back to this school that has helped, you know, kind of prepare me for a professional world moving forward here. So I'm glad I'm really looking forward to another year of undergrad and uh, potentially another year after that of uh, four plus one program through uh, SFIS. So thank you all very much. Yes, thank you very much, Jamie. It's uh... It's been an honor to receive this award. Um, I know the SFIS program has changed my life, so um, I'm glad I could help uh, change the SFIS program a little bit and, and impact its culture and its, uh, its curriculum. But, uh, so yes, thank you, and um, I think that's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jason, and thanks, John. Um, I am now gonna hand the torch back to Mary Jane Parmentier, who will introduce our GTD awards. Thanks, Jamie. So this year, um, as Jamie mentioned, sometimes we, you know, mix up the awards a little depending on our awardees. And this year we actually have three distinct awards in all three areas. So that worked out kind of nicely. Um, so the first recipient is Lubna Alsaka, and she is receiving the Charter Award for Access. Lubna is fairly new to GTD, but while maintaining a 3.9 GPA, she's become very involved um, with the program and particularly with a program to update Wikipedia for schools with a fellow team of graduate school students, which will be used with the Solar Spell Digital Libraries. She began this summer um, and uh, was really a leader in the group and she carried in into fall as an internship and she sought out the internship opportunity. Um, Wikipedia for Schools is an offline offshoot of Wikipedia with about 10,000 student friendly Wikipedia articles broadly related to school curriculum, but they need um, cultural relevance. They need to be, you know, one, one doesn't, size doesn't fit all around the world. Um, and the team of which Lubna was a key part developed a framework to systemize the process of updating and diversifying the wiki information, con contextualizing it. Um, this included a comparative analysis of curricula from countries around the world and consulting with teachers and Peace Corps volunteers with international experience um, and with previous experience using Wikipedia for schools. Um, as a GTD student following an education concentration in the Applied International Development concentration, Lubna has a passion for extending and making accessible quality education around the world. The updates to Wikipedia for Schools will ultimately be made available to thousands of offline users around the world using Solar Spell digital libraries and to even more who are able to access the online version. Congratulations, Lubna, and we look forward to your future work in increasing access to education. Um, thank you very much. This award means a lot for me, um, and it's like, encouraged me to keep up the work. Uh, I'm really happy to be part of ASU uh, community that, like you can sense the, um, the values of acceptance and inclusiveness like in every practice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lubna. We're proud of you. So let's see here. The next awardee is Andy Mastrasavas. And I apologize if I, mispronounce, apologize if I mispronounced your name. I've actually never heard you pronounce it. Um, we are awarding Andy with the Charter Award for Excellence. First, I want to read what her nominator and SFIS faculty member has said about her. Andy's an excellent student. She's intelligent, hardworking, and a model student very curious and eager to know the societal impact of technologies, a theme near and dear to her as she works in the communications arena. Every assignment in my class was care carefully and optimally done and she went above and beyond what was asked of her. Her online presentation at the end of the session was the best in my class 
and very high quality. Through this online class, I met with her over Zoom and our conversation regarding her research on gender and equity issues um, is so well developed that I recommended she think about a doctoral program. She's an asset to GTV and SFIS. Um, and now if I can add something, she, Andy's currently in my class um, and she's maintained a 4.0 with half of her master's credits now complete. Um, in my class this semester, she's demonstrated the excellent academic work that others have described. Um, and moreover, she takes the time in online discussions to comment constructively on other students' work, asking enlightening questions and giving encouraging feedback. Congratulations, Andy, and we look forward to your future work. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. I think like um, a lot of students, you know, this program has been my North Star through a very challenging year. Uh, I feel very fortunate to be here at ASU doing this program at this moment in time. Um, I'm grateful to all of the faculty that have pushed me and I really appreciate this recognition. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. We're proud of you as well. Happy to have you in our program. And so our third charter award goes to Eleni Berhan, and it's the Charter Award for Impact. Eleni started working with the Solar Spell Digital Library Project as a content curator. Then she took on the role of team lead, and not only has she gone above and beyond in this work of finding new content for a specialized library, she's also been mentor to two undergraduate students on her team. Eleni is originally from Ethiopia, and the library she's currently working on focuses on preparing a library for refugee camp schools in Western Ethiopia. Eleni plans to focus her um, GTD applied project um, on this project with the goal of having a true impact in her home country. Dr. Hossman, director of Solar Spell, says that her contributions will make a strongly positive impact in the lives of our future Solar Spell library users in refugee camps and in Ethiopia more broadly. Congratulations, Eleni. We look forward to your positive impacts. And I understand that Eleni was not able to be with us today, so there's a nice picture of her. And at this point, I will turn it over to Kathleen Bogel, SFIS's Deputy Director, to announce the MSTP Charter Awards. Great, well, thank you so much, Mary Jane. So I'm so excited to um, announce the Master's in Science and Technology Policy Charter Awards. And the first one we're going to um, announce is the Charter Award uh, for Access, and that is Jonathan Roll. Um, Jonathan has been a proactive advocate for students within MSTP and ASU. He advocates for students at SFIS through the Graduate and Professional Student Association by holding an at-large seat. Jonathan also chairs uh, two committees that impact the students at Arizona State University. He's involved in hearing and identifying a variety of different gaps and concerns related to student needs and has used his GPSA seat to uplift others. He's been a great resource for students and has been a support for constituents in the science, technology, and policy program. And because of that, Jonathan epitomizes the award for access for the MSTP program. So congratulations, Jonathan, if you wanna say a few words. Sure, thank you so much, Kathleen. I figured I'd, I'd just take the opportunity uh, for a minute to thank some, some all important people. Um, of course, uh, uh, parents first and foremost, um, I think the way I kind of grew up as a military uh, kid abroad, um, I was always given access from an early age, so that's kind of something I've wanted to advocate for others. Um, but no student is uh, is an island, right? I think we're all uh, our success is a function of the the people we're around here at the university and department and the place itself. Um, so this place, ASU and SFIS, kind of have that kindred. Uh, spirit as I do of uh, seeking access and some of the uh, the people here in SFIS and in the MSTP program have just been phenomenal. Um, it almost goes unsaid to mention them, but I, I wanted to do that if I if you can uh, 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 listen for just a moment. Uh, of course, Andrew Maynard, uh, Andra Williams, Kathleen, uh, uh, our new uh, uh, captain, um, TV, uh, uh, Professor Timmy Aga Gianti, Heather Ross, uh, uh, Kevin Margeson, uh, Benedict Callen, uh, Ira Bennett, and Michael Bernstein. These are the folks that have kind of shepherded me through my journey so far here. And so I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful for my cohort and the staff that work hard here, um, specifically uh, a fellow student, Nicole Mayberry, um, and uh, just uh, happy to open other doors for other people um, and thankful that ASU is part of my journey. Thank you. Fantastic. All right, so our next um, charter award is for excellence. And our awardee for that is Jenna Robinson. 
So Jenna has exemplified the quality of excellence throughout her tenure in the MSTP program. Not only has she excelled academically in her coursework and applied project work at ASU, she's also been awarded opportunities to serve public policy institutions nationally. Um, she was the 2021 Presidential Management Fellow fi Fellows finalist and the PMF program as a flagship development leadership program in the US government um, for entry-level um, advanced degree candidates. Um, Jenna's professors note that she's developed a strong and thoughtful voice in the classroom as she brings her sophisticated analysis to engage with course content for the benefit of her fellow students. In the words of one of her professors for this award, um, they say, Jenna epitomizes excellence with social purpose and responsiveness that is such a key part of the MSTP program. So congratulations, Jenna. Would you like to say a few words? Yeah, thanks, Kathleen. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my family who's actually on the call today. So thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. You guys have been a huge part of my success because you've supported me throughout all this. I'd also like to thank my cohort for being here for me for the past two years, and also Andrew and Andra, as well as Dr. Jim Richter. They've all been huge supports for me, and they've really cultivated an environment where I felt comfortable to succeed, and I just am super appreciative of that. So thank you. Congratulations, Jenna. And so our final award uh, for impact is uh, Jacob Robinson, or Robertson, sorry. Um, Jacob has had a significant impact in his role as the Memberships and Grants Fellow at the National Council for Science and Environment, the NS, and CSE. It's a position which is fulfilling his internship requirement for the SFIS MSTP program. In this capacity, uh, Jacob has managed NCSE's membership administration, which includes a detailed process and information flow on over 100 universities across the US internationally. He has also provided strategic guidance on how NCSE might transform its organizational operations with respect to database development and management to support the organization in an upcoming growth phase. In a very small amount of time, Jacob has had significant impact on NCSE's operations and plans for near-term strategic growth. So congratulations, Jacob, for your impact awards. Would you like to say a few words? Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much, Kathleen, for the kind words. Um, I think when I was searching for graduate programs, one of the things that really drew me to MSTP and to ASU was the focus on uh, you know, taking knowledge and research and making it useful and turning it into impact. So it feels great to be recognized for that here. Um, so, of course, I want to thank my internship supervisor, Erica Goldman, um, as well as every professor that I've had the um, privilege to learn from in this program, um, and as well as Andrew Williams and Andrew Maynard, who have, I think, both provided an incredible amount of guidance in, in my time at ASU. So, thank you. Great. And now I'd like to um, turn things over to Professor Kiki Jenkins, the chair of the HSD program. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's my pleasure to announce the Charter Awards for HSD. I'd like to start just by thanking everyone who nominated HSD students. We had 10 distinct nominations. So many of them were qualified. And so this year, looking across the strength of those nominations, we decided not to offer an award in each individual category, but to recognize each of these three individuals for all three categories because they stood out because they were excelling in all three. Um, and I believe the first one is Nicole Mayberry. So Nicole Mayberry um, is excelling across the board in her work and her studies at SFIS and in the HSD program. Um, she's making excellent progress in her PhD. And while she's doing that, she is serving in leadership roles both at the school and the university level and representing and advocating for graduate student interests. She's a president of our Graduate Student Association, also holds a leadership role in uh, the GPSA. Her research and her service is working to promote anti-racism and student equity. And in addition to this, she has developed courses, curriculums, and programs that is delivering um, information support knowledge to graduate students. In particular, we like to recognize the new orientation programming that she did for incoming graduate students. And so with that, I would like to 
give Nicole a few minutes. Uh, oh, well, not a few minutes, some time um, to respond. Thank you so much and congratulations, Nicole. Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Jenkins. Um, I also want to thank Andra. Um, both of you have been incredibly helpful um, in helping me get uh, all of those milestones in HSD checked off. And thanks, Andra, for always putting up with my paperwork snafus. Um, I, of course, also um, want to thank Dave and Kathleen. Um, I've gotten the opportunity to work very closely with them this year. Um, and your mentorship and stewardship has been invaluable as I've grown as a student and a hopeful academic. Um, of course, my colleagues in HSD, I think Jonathan said it, it better than I could that we're not islands. Um, so thank you everyone, including Gabby and uh, Jess Givens. I also um, want to give a special thanks to my faculty advisor, Andrew Maynard, who's in many ways always encouraged me to um, uh, pursue these opportunities. Um, and also uh, Dr. Jen Richter, who I've had the pleasure to work underneath for the last two years. Thank you so much for your mentorship. Um, it's been invaluable to just be able to be honest and open about the struggles that we have as graduate students, um, but also um, work together to find solutions. Um, and he's made a, a, an appearance, but my dog Foucault, I guess also wants to be recognized. So thank you Foucault for the, the screams in the back. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Nicole. So our next award E is Gabrielle Lout. Gabby, in this very difficult year of COVID-19 disrupting so many things, has managed to find a way to keep moving forward full steam with her research. Um, she was recognized this year by ASU's Knowledge Mobil Mobilization Awards, where she won in the doctoral research in progress category for her project swimming towards sustainability, integrating social sustainability into Guyana's green economy. She was also selected as a global human rights Hub Graduate Fellow for the 2021 academic year for her current work around labor and human rights in the seafood sector. And throughout all of this, she has been serving the SFIS community by being um, providing support and advice to other SFIS students and guest lecturing in courses. Um, in addition to doing research in conjunction with the FAO and Conservation International and making excellent progress with her PhD degree. So congratulations, Gabby. Um, and if you would like to say something. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Kiki. Um, yeah, I really appreciate being uh, recognized for such important work around human rights and some of these big social issues like poverty and equity. And it's um, been no small task, but I am fortunate to have the support that I have with my family, of course, and um, mm -hmm. SFIS faculty like Kiki, um, Jesse Sanko, Nalini. Um, Andra, of course, and recently Kathleen and Andrew, um, and of course, folks in the ASU CI um, partnership who have been really huge in my um, this whole practice based model that I've taken for my PhD and all these folks have supported, um, you know, this less than traditional approach and, and me being a student and practitioner. Um, and of course, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten here and gone through the ups and downs of the PhD uh, and work in 2020 in general um, without, you know, my peers, especially Nicole uh, and Jess Givens as well. So thank you all so much. Thank you, Gabby. And then our final awardee is Anna Muldoon. So Anna, like all the rest, has managed to continue to be making excellent progress with her PhD in the midst of this very difficult year. Um, but not only was she surviving and thriving, but she was tackling things head on. So Anna's research is about conspiracy and myths surrounding public health crises, particularly those related to infectious diseases um, throughout US history. And so Anna's deep and extensive knowledge of infectious diseases, including a career that she had in Washington around this, helped her to be poised to tackle coronavirus issues. She volunteered her expertise and services um, to uh, help organize coronavirus testing logistics at ASU. Um, and she made use of her knowledge to reach out to people who could benefit from understanding it more. Um, in this capacity, she's been serving to help model COVID and epidemiology task force for Arizona. She's working with interdisciplinary teams to analyze the data and find trends to help the decision-making of local politicians and experts and ways that they can help control the spread and decrease the impacts of COVID-19. And in this way, she's been contributing to intersectional and critical knowledge 
um, providing support and protection for vulnerable populations that maybe the, the data isn't showing. And so she's bringing these stories to the fore. One of the ways that she has done this is she has submitted a book chapter about misinformation and conspiracies around health issues and has been interviewed by the national media, including Vox, to talk about um, ways of knowing between science and religion. So congratulations and thank you for the work that you've been doing this year, Anna. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, the award. Um, I it has been a crazy year, and I did not actually expect to go back into public health after leaving to do a PhD. But I was in the right place at the right time, and you see our models on the news, so I guess they're useful. Um, I could absolutely not have done this without my incredible grad school cohort supporting me and helping me keep writing. Um, Andrew Maynard for talking me through my crisis about whether or not I was going back to public health and Heather Ross and Tim Lant and Gaiman Bennett who have all probably heard more about conspiracy theories than they ever want to. Um, and hopefully someday soon we'll have a book party and it will be wonderful. But so thank you guys all so much. Thank you, Anna. Congratulations again. And now I'd like to pass it off to Natra Chetri to present the awards to the IDD program. Thank you, Kiki. Um, it's my honor to um, present charter awards in various categories to IGD PhD students, but I would like to thank um, all who took time to nominate students. That's really, really important for uh, charter awards. Um, and then uh, unfortunately, I could only select three of them. So I have to leave a few for the next round, I believe. So um, our first charter award is for access and it goes to Farah Nahar Arvhalo. Um, Farah is quite an effective student advocate, open, transparent, and she's very bold as well. Uh, the issue of diversity, gender, and human rights are some of Farah's passion. Uh, her academic interest also revolves around these issues. In her research, she focuses on the intersection of three interdisciplinary areas, such as development studies, science and technology studies, and metropolitan studies. So interested in urban mobility technologies and their impact on people at the margin of society, as well as women, Farah's youth-inspired research has the potential to help create just, safe, and livable cities. She is part of a number of organizations or focus areas on campus. Well, let me just say a few of them. Um, she is a part of Society Policy Engineering Collectives, the SPEC, directed by our very professor, Katina Michel. Uh, Michael, so Sustainable Urban Future Labs, which is called SURF Lab, directed by Professor Pat Miller, who moved to University of Massachusetts, ASU Graduates Women Association, ASU Mexican Student Associations, and working um, in SFIS JEDI initiatives with uh, Professor Michael Bennett. So uh, it's my pleasure and congratulations, Farah. Farah, do you want to say a few words? Um, yes, thank you. I have here my award. Um, I feel very first honored um, to re receive this award, but I also feel very happy. It's a, a piece of joy in this strange year and strange semester. Um, but um, um, my journey in SFIS started with the master's. So I am very, very thankful for, for the, the space that SFIS has given me and and this award represents an opportunity to keep my work and um, I, I, I feel I could say a single thing that most of the faculty and staff have done for me but uh, I feel like if I start listing this I'm gonna cry so I'm gonna maybe say that for two more years uh, uh, for convocation or something but uh, this award represents a big motivation. Um, I also I feel very really happy in the cohort, IDD cohort that I have. So I admire 
my cohort peers, the faculty that motivate me and do so much for me, um, and also the other awardees, uh, because as I'm listening to all your bias and accomplishment, I feel uh, very really admiring all of your work. So thank you and thank you for the SFIS staff for putting these events and keeping us connected to three events in this uh, social distancing time. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Farah. Um, so our next uh, charter award is for excellence and it goes to Damita Kalastin. Uh, Damita's academic performance is nothing sort of excellent. Uh, very dedicated, extremely focused and sharp Damita work hard, manage time very effectively, and has a great ability to work in team. She's also the Dean of Planning, Research and Development at South Mountain Community College. Born and raised in Louisiana, Damita did her undergraduate degree among all places in Alaska and did her master from ASU in criminal justice. Uh, one of her nominees um, wrote some uh, here, I'm gonna quote, Damita is a gentle soul. And despite being a full-time working professional, mother, wife, and a student, she's able to help her cohort members and excel in all her coursework. That is why she is an asset to IGD program and our great school, SFIS. She's excelled in my class and was the only one who received an A plus. So um, she also presented a paper to the IEEE conference, which has been accepted for publication. So did Farah as well. She's also working with another IGD students for a manuscript and is on track to submit early next year. Her dissertation research focused on higher education creating on the nexus of digital, centering on the nexus of digital divide in education among low income and marginalized communities, very timely and appropriate topic at this point in time also, and as well as in the future. So it's going to focus both in the US and in African countries. He has to find out, nailing it down, but going to uh, finalize that, that country very soon. She's on par to, uh, par to finish the IGD PhD in record time. Congratulations, Tamita. Proud to have you. Um, do you want to say a few words? Um, thank you, Netra. Um, first, I would just like to say congratulations um, to all of the award recipients. It's an honor to be in um, such a good company with individuals who are doing extraordinary work. Um, I would also like to thank my family and friends, um, many of which who are on the call. I could not have done this without you. Um, a special thanks uh, to my cohort as well. Um, each one of you has added just tremendous value and insights to my life. Um, I would be remiss if I did not thank the SFIS community um, as well as the IGD faculty um, for just believing in me and giving me this chance. Um, you are extraordinary individuals who have truly changed my life course um, in ways that I can't even express. And I am excited um, for my, my future and to be a part of this community. So thank you all. Thank you, Damita. Um, the final charter award uh, for impact uh, um, and it goes to Sala Hamadine. Uh, Sala's leadership and teamwork has been a significant, significant since he joined the IGD program in the fall of 2019. He has the innate capacity to bridge the gap between different students group and faculty, which can have a lasting um, effect and impact within the IGD program and to the larger SFS community and broader ASU. During the past 18 months at ASU, Salah has created several panels with his peers and faculty, including International Studies Association, um, STAS 2020 conferences, International Studies Associations, West, um, and, and few others as well. Sala is always keen to ensuring that the new IGD cohort feel welcome and informed about the PhD pathways and their journeys and their difficulty and whatnot. Uh, he also served as administrator of the IEEE 
transaction on technology and society. And uh, starts publication chair. He's also a committee member of the Center for uh, Maghrib Studies, a member of the Human Economies uh, Focal Group, and a committee member of the newly established Jedi Task Force. Sala is keen and attentive to key issues affecting marginalized population around the world and has passionately spoken and participated in several events that consider how to rethink global development in light of human flourishing. Sala has also done recent um, work on evaluating the effects of COVID-19 in Morocco. His research centered around financial inclusion and grassroots innovation that is primarily focused on how people at the margin interact with the power presented through technologies. Congratulations, Sala. Do you want to say a few words here? Wow, thank you. I was just listening and I was impressed. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I um, well, thank you for, um, thank you for such kind words. I, uh, I first want to acknowledge my, uh, or thank my family first. They've gone through, uh, you know, the patience that they had through my, uh, through this journey, which is amazing. Uh, my partner, my son. Um, thank you, Netra. Thank you, all the faculty of IGD um, and the uh, and the and the rest of the school at FIS. Um, thank you for your support during this very challenging times. I, I know that you, you know, the faculty is going through a lot as well. So thank you for supporting us as students. Um, I, I just want to acknowledge that I have a special thank you to um, Mary Jane, Katina, um, for supporting me from the start. Um, they were there. Um, the discussion that I had before I started the program was just amazing. Um, and um, not a lot of people know this, but the inspiring words of Clark um, uh, for me to join. I mean, that was uh, I, it's still it was very it's still very instrumental. Um, well, yeah, and, and thank you everyone just making this a home away from home. Um, so the last thing I want to say, I just want to acknowledge all my fellow students, the students that inspire me every day. Um, I, I learn from every day. I want to acknowledge all the um, first generation college students and students who are doing this amazing work in their um, second or third language. Uh, English is a second or third language. Just very inspiring to see that's, that's going on. Um, yeah, so anyway, thank you. Thank you for everyone I did not mention. Um, it, it's just been a great journey. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, now I'm going to pass uh, the baton to uh, Katina Michael. Katina, take it from here. Thank you so much, Netra. Uh, what an honor it is to be presenting the first, the inaugural uh, Public Interest Technology Charter Awards. We have three of these today, one for access, one for uh, excellence, and one for impact. The first award uh, for access goes to the wonderful Jason Robinson. I do remember Jason, our first conversation uh, with your wife and baby uh, and was so excited uh, that you're actually a staffer, uh, both a lecturer and a professional services staff at um, Northern Arizona University as a veteran user experience designer. And here we are, we get to have your expertise through this public interest technology program we've kicked off today. And you're using straight away the things that you're learning in this notion of access and hospitality right through the NAU, NAU network. We're so proud to have your contribution, uh, your contribution to human needs and technology systems. You're, you're someone who focuses on user-centered design and demonstrates that through their user experience um, capacity. But I'm very pleased to hear that the PIP program has been extremely helpful. I think you described it as overjoyous at one point, but it's us who is gaining from you. So thank you so much and congratulations. You may want to say a few words. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Michael. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm humbled to be in the middle of this amazing crowd of people here, but I'm really excited to receive this in the name of impact. It's uh, a core value of both NAU where I work and also ASU, of course. Um, I think for me, learning about PIT has been kind of mind expanding because it's it's like I've been doing user experience design and this is like society experience design work. So um, it's a whole other level, um, but I'm just really grateful to um, 
the, the faculty, uh, doctors Michael and um, Fisher and Cook Began. Thank you so much. I specifically want to also thank um, my wife Alini, <laughs> who is uh, you know spending more time in the house with our daughter Emma as a result of my doing this. Um, and then also Danita Varela, who is my success coach. I had a pretty rough entry actually into this grad school experience, uh, just get just making adjustments to my life. And her support um, was just incredible in kind of helping me get my solid, get solid legs under me. So I'm really grateful. Uh, yeah, really excited to continue moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Jason, and congratulations. Our next award is for excellence. And uh, I think this candidate uh, who now is not just a nominee, uh, but is the Impact, uh, sorry, Excellence Award, uh, Charter Award uh, holder, could have gone to any of the awards. To be sure if you're an all-rounder. Um, you've been working in a national domestic violence capacity for an NGO now for some time. We celebrate everything that you're doing uh, for women in particular and those who are uh, living with domestic violence and overcoming domestic violence. You've been such a contributor to the program. I've enjoyed your endless messages and correspondence and encouragement and ways to improve, ways to enhance the program. But you're really on that academic path, I feel. That's the next stage. Um, what you've done for us at IEEE uh, ISTAS at the International Symposium on Technology and Society, what you did for New America in the Public Interest Technology University Network program, where you participated and presented what you've done in endless extracurricular activities. If I could count the number of webinars and series of webinars you've been online contributing to and providing questions and feedback, vital things, I think it would be in 50 plus uh, in this last 14 weeks, which I find absolutely remarkable. You're treating this degree not just as a part-time degree, but something that you're ingesting into your whole life. Um, you're leading the thinking around domestic violence, location-based services, data, and privacy. And that's something I'm very personally excited about to see you take off with your ideas in that, in that movement. So again, thank you for your excellence and congratulations on this award. You may want to say a few words, Toby. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Michael Katina, for your guidance and your encouragement and for really nourishing uh, my deep curiosity. Um, I came to this program after over 20 years working professionally, and um, I have found the place that I've been looking for this whole time, the community of curiosity and dedication and that commitment throughout SFIS to not only explore these questions, but to apply them in ways that make an immediate difference in the world is so inspiring to me. And that is really just heightened by hearing about the amazing work that um, my fellow awardees um, have been engaged in so far. I really want to thank um, faculty, uh, Professor Fisher, Professor Cook Deegan, um, and to, and also the other faculty who aren't even my teachers yet, but who have been generous with their time and their ideas. Um, and I also really want to, to thank Cindy and Melissa and Jenny, um, who have helped to hold the space for the tremendous creativity and dedication um, of faculty and students um, and to make me feel welcome and part of a community. Like Jason, I want to thank my success coach, Omar Davidson, who likewise helped me with that transition from the professional world into graduate school. Um, and, and I really, uh, my mom is on today. I really want to thank her for always encouraging me to be curious and to pursue my dreams, um, to not be afraid to learn new things, um, and for really just encouraging me and inspiring me throughout my life. So thank you all so much uh, for this award. Wow, Toby, congratulations again. And thanks to the family who turned up too. It makes it more exciting for all of us. This final award, uh, which is the Impact Award for the Public Interest Technology degree, goes to none other than Shalin Giotishi. Shalin, it was serendipity, in fact, that uh, meant that, ooh, into four or five weeks of this degree, uh, you end up becoming employed by the New America. Um, and they are the ones that sort of coined the idea of public interest technology, of course, with many others in industry. So here we have our first sort of student cohort going through and you end up 
at New America. I found that quite amazing. You're a senior policy analyst there, and we're very proud to have that connection with New America. Um, you're also the chief executive officer of a journal, the Journal of Science, Policy and Governance. And that's doing a lot of innovative things. If you want to talk about impact, once a journal starts to get cited and filter through the academic and professional network, what you've got there is a, is a wonderful, not only product, but contribution to the economic infrastructure. Uh, you've done so many things. I want to go to a series of uh, empowerments, I'm going to call them, uh, where you've brokered partnerships with the United Nations Major Group for Children and Youth, something I'm very invested in. Uh, you've brokered a partnership with the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Many of us will be presenting at next year's AAAS meeting. We're busy doing videos for that right now. And you've also brokered a partnership with the British government to launch a new international call for papers for the 2021 United Nations climate change issues. And I think that's just a, a, a splash in the water. You're doing a lot more even than that. So congratulations on your impact award and may you say a few words if you wish. Oh, thanks so much, uh, Katina. I'm so uh, honored for this recognition. And, and what to say, uh, it's a privilege to be part of this movement. Um, it was really just one conversation with Katina Michael that sold me on the, the public interest technology program. Uh, at that point, uh, I don't recall, I don't think there was a website even. It was really just that, that inspirational conversation. Um, uh, thanks also to Bob Cook Deacon, who's uh, DC roots right here in, in uh, the district is, is always inspirational and a great source of, of learning for me. Uh, and Andrew Maynard, who's really only ever a tweet away from inspiring someone and changing his, their, their lives. I've been so grateful for uh, Andrew's support of me uh, uh, personally over these, these past year. Uh, thanks to, to Wendy, thanks to, to Andra, thanks to my cohort members. It's been such a privilege to be part of this movement. Uh, really grateful and excited to, to follow along with you all. Thank you, Shalon, for those wonderful words. And with that, we close uh, the Public Interest Technology Charter Awards and hand off to Jameson Wetmore. Uh, thank you, Katina, and congratulations to all of our amazing award winners. I don't know that we can do the sound. I just want us to all turn our microphones on and just yell really, really loud. Can we do that, or is that not possible? <laughs> it's possible. Woo congratulations! congratulations. Woo <laughs> Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, as we all know, we don't get a chance to get together nearly as much as we'd like to. And at one point, I don't know where we're at now, but there were 70 of us um, celebrating everybody here, and that is amazing. So thank you all for joining. Um, special thanks go out to Melissa Waite, Cindy Dick, and Eliza Robinson, and the whole team that helped put this together, um, this award ceremony together. Uh, uh, maybe I missed it. Well, I think maybe I mispronounced somebody's name. But other than that, I think everything went really smoothly. <laughs> so thank you all. Um, it's amazing. If you can actually get this many people, especially people with PhDs together, to do something this smoothly, you have truly accomplished something.